In this tutorial, I would like to show you how I made this bouncing cloth ball simulation. First, let's set width and height to 1000 by 1000 pixels. Now we need hexahedron sphere with 100 segments, which we will use as a cloth object. Copy it and make a smaller object with 40 segments. We are going to clone it inside of a large sphere with distribution set to volume. Let's create 35 copies or so. Let's make it transparent for a comfortable working process. Maybe scale down cloners a bit. For more interesting dynamics and look at a random object. In the parameter, uncheck position flag and set uniform scale to 0.4. Let's turn off visibility for a while and make current state to object for the cloner. Choose all small spheres, and in the Tools tab, use Dynamic Place Tool. We can now arrange these balls inside of the sphere object. They should fill it without intersecting its surface. Also, Check that all the balls do not intersect with each other. Otherwise, we will have problems with their simulations. We don't need cloner and random objects anymore. Let's delete them. Let's rename null object to balls. Create octane camera, reset its coordinates, and place it in front of the objects. Create plane object, which will be used as a background. Move it far away from the sphere and scale it up. Switch on path tracing and create glass and glossy materials for sphere and balls objects. Create HDRI environment. Adjust its power and X and Y rotation for beautiful reflections and lighting. Create diffuse material for the plane object. Set its transmission to white and diffuse to light gray. Now we are going to create cloth tag for the sphere. 
set bend and S to narrow, stretch and S to 30. For the ball subjects, we need cloth tag 2. Set bend and S to nil. To decrease collision distance, change thickness to 0.5. For a sphere, reduce it to 0.52. Set gravity to 0. Create turbulence. Set its strength for something about 20, scale 50, and frequency 40. Select children objects and apply cloth tag to them. Remove cloth tag from the null object. Now let's cache simulation and see what we have. I think the animation will look better if turbulence affect only balls, but not sphere object. So let's drop turbulence into the forces field. This way it will be excluded by the sphere object. Let's test. No turbulence for sphere, but it goes away from the center of the scene. The way we can fix it is to switch on with force flag. Now it stays in place. By increasing iterations, we will make cloth avoid jittering. Let's set them to 3 and 1. I am going to add tension tag to the balls objects. For this purpose, we need to use connect object first. Let's make it parent for all cloth objects. Time to make final cache for our simulation. Now let's bake connect object as a lembic. Switch off connect and make current state to object for the alembic. Apply materials to the new alembic object. Drop polygon selection tag to the glass material. Place gloss to the left of the glass material. And only now we can add tension tag. Go to the first frame and press Make Map for creating fold and stretch vertex maps. After that press Fix Tension. This tension vertex maps will be used in our gloss material for mixing two different colors. We will need two RGB spectrum nodes, mix node and vertex map node. First color should be as a texture one and the second as a texture two mixed by vertex map node. I would like to make them green and pink. Drop vertex map tag, which is folds into the vertex map field. Now we can see that the areas where objects touch each other are pink color.
This is how tension tag works. We can make pink areas more smooth. For this, let's copy folds tag and in the fields delete freeze layer. Drop previous tag into the new one and set its mode to average. In the glossy material, we have to replace old vertex map with the new one. Now pink areas are not so sharp. I think five centimeters radius would be enough for a good result. This normal tag creates some artifacts on the objects, and I would like to delete it. Well, this is a technique, and it's time to say good luck with your renders. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.